The following is a DJ Ski presentation. Ski TV. The, the thing I, what I think about, you know, people and their opinions, man, and, you know, opinion is made... It's, I, I thought opinion, when you want to give your opinion about something, your motive should be right. Your motive is the why you're giving an opinion should be to better something. O opinions were used for people that's mutual, like on, on, like right here, and then they talk about, well, I think this should happen. Well, my opinion, I think that should happen. When people start telling, when an artist starts to tell a person that has been hot for 20 years in the business and still hot, still producing and still writing with, you know, Grammys and every award, award that you can imagine that they've won and you haven't won any and you start giving your opinion, you will end up looking bad, you know, to anybody that's smart or have any kind of sense. You'll end up looking bad and you'll end up looking lost. It's like to give me your opinion on what I should do musically, R. Kelly, and this is not ego, we're dealing strictly from my stats when I talk. When you try to give me your opinion or give the world your opinion of what you think about me, of what I should do musically, first of all, you should have called me, but really you shouldn't have, <laughs> you know? <laughs> but if you're going to um, if you're going to step out on that kind of limb, which is very, very, very thin, then you should make a call, a personal call, if this is a personal feeling. Now, but if you're trying to sell an album and start a beef, you know, you would make it public. You understand what I'm saying? You would make it public, and the public would hear it, and they would go, ooh, did you hear what so-and-so said about so-and-so? Girl, he tripping. You know, ooh, man, I want to go hear that album because that's what you think is going to happen. But you have to be very, very careful of that because why would I tell Stevie Wonder, even though he doesn't have an album out, why should I tell Stevie Wonder, you know, Stevie, man, you need to quit doing that or you need to do that music. You don't, you don't need to or talk about Stevie Wonder. I would not do that because Stevie Wonder has fans as well. And it's just not the right thing to do. This music industry and the, the young people, they're, they're losing respect for, for who, who've paved the way. Not saying that I paved the way for music. But now just as Stevie Wonder and Charlie Wilson and Donny Hathaway and Sam Cooke paved the way for the R. Kellys the, and the Aaron Halls and the, you know, and the Dreams and everybody else, as we become, we come up, we're paving the way for the next person to come through. For the next person to come through. But you cannot, you cannot give your opinion, uh, talk about someone who has done what they've done, you know, in this industry, which has changed the industry and brought new genre of music and ideas to the industry and still doing it. You, you, you don't do that, you know. It's like throwing, trying to, you're trying to throw a rock on the top of the Sears Tower. But fortunately, I am smart enough and I am um, wise enough that I don't need to retaliate, you know, to sell my album, to be a better man, a bigger man, or a tougher guy. You know, I don't need to retaliate to do any of that, you know. And besides, I'm going to tell you this and I want you to listen. Elephants don't swat flies. <laughs> 